Let us look at another model which can be used in the selection of the best facility location. It is known as the simple median model. Now this model helps us to locate a new facility such that the total transportation cost between the new facility and the existing facilities is minimized. Now let us first understand what is meant by median. Median is the numerical value separating the higher half of a data sample from the lower half. Now in order to find the median of a finite list of numbers, all the numbers should be arranged from the lowest value to the highest value in the ascending order and then the middle one is the median. So let us consider the following numbers 1, 6, 8, 9, 10. So first of all we have to make sure that the numbers are arranged in the ascending order starting from the lowest value and increasing to the highest value. Now we have to find the middle number. So we have how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this number 8 is the number which is separating the lower half from the upper half. So 8 is the median here. Now this was a series of odd number of observation that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 which is odd so definitely we were able to get a middle number. Now let's say we have 6 numbers. 1, 6, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So here there should be a number in between 8 and 9 which would separate the lower half from the upper half. However, right now we don't have this number because there are even number of observations. So the median would be the average of the middle two numbers. So the average of 8 and 9 is 8.5 and that is the median in case of this series which is an even series of numbers. Now if the number of observations is very high, we can use some formulas to find the median. So in this case where the total number of observations is odd, we can use the formula n plus 1 divided by 2. So in this case we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 observations. So 5 plus 1 divided by 2, which is 6 by 2, which is 3. So this is the third item in the series. Now in case of even number of observations, the formula is n by 2th item plus n by 2 plus 1th item divided by so n here is 6, 6 by 2 plus 6 by 2 plus 1th item divided by 2. This is the third item plus fourth item divided by 2. So here the third item is 8 and the fourth item is 9. 8 plus 9 divided by 2 and this is 8.5. So 8.5 is the median in the second case. Now in case of simple median model, the median refers to the median of the load 
we can say load can be a truck load of shipment which is to be transported between the existing facilities and the new facility. Now this model assumes that the movement of goods between facilities is done only along the X and Y axis and no movement is done diagonally. Now let's consider the following question. Suppose you want to locate a new plant that will annually receive shipments of raw material from locations A, B and C. Now this new plant will create finished goods that must be shipped to two distribution warehouses D and E. So where would you locate the new plant? And we have been provided this information for each of the facilities we have been given the X and Y coordinates we have been given the cost of moving a unit truck load by one unit distance and we have also been given the annual load in units which are being shipped from A, B and C to the new plant and from the new plant to D and E. Now let us first plot this information on X and Y axis. So I have here X axis and the Y axis. Now let's plot the location of these existing facilities. So A has the coordinates 10 and 80. So 10 and 80. This will be A with coordinates 10, 80. B has 30, 60. So 30 and 60. C has the coordinates 80, 50. So 80 and 50. D has the coordinates 50 and 10. So 50 and 10. This is D. And E has 80 and 10. So 80 and 10. Now A has to transport 452 units of truck load to this new facility. So 452. B 678 C 483 D will receive 711 from this new facility and E will receive 539 Now irrespective of whether the facilities are transporting to this new plant or the new plant is transporting to these existing facilities, the cost of moving the truck load by the unit distance is the same. So we have to minimize the overall transportation cost. Now the cost of transportation depends on the number of truckloads being shipped. Hence, if the new plant is placed at a location which is relatively closer to the facility or group of facilities having more shipments, then the overall transportation cost can be minimized. So let's say we place the new plant somewhere here. 
Now this location is closer to C but farther from B and D and C is shipping only 483 units whereas B and D have 678 and 711. So now the cost of transporting goods between B, D and the new plant is going to be more than the cost of shipping between the new plant and C because it has less number of truckloads. However, if we place the plant somewhere here, then the cost of shipping between B and the new plant and D and the new plant will be minimized. However, the cost of shipping between the new plant and C will increase. But the overall cost will minimize because B and D have much higher transportation cost than C. So the statistical concept of median helps us in determining the most favorable location of the new plant in order to minimize the total transportation cost. So let's see the steps in detail. So step one is to find the median load. So here we first add the annual load given for all the facilities that is 452 plus 678 plus 711 plus 539 plus 483. Now the total is 2863. Now this is an odd number. Now we assume that the truckloads are marked with identification numbers starting from 1 and increasing by 1 up till 2863. So the first truck is 1, the second is 2, third is 3, fourth is 4, fifth is 5 and so on. Now in order to find the median we can consider that the truckload identification numbers are arranged in an ascending order like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on 2, 8, 6, 0, 2, 8, 6, 1, 2, 8, 6, 2 and 2, 8, 6, 3. Now this is an odd number so the median would be n plus 1 divided by 2th item. So n is 2863 plus 1 divided by 2. This is equal to 2864 divided by 2 and this is equal to 1432. Now since this is in sequence with a gap of 1 between each number, the number 1432 is also the median value in this series. Now let's move to step number 2. So step number 2 is to find the x coordinate of the new plant. Now on this graph we have to move from the extreme left towards the right along the x-axis. So the first location that we come across is A because it is located at the extreme left of the x-axis. 
Now assume that load numbers 1 to 452 have to be moved between A and the new plant. So A will have load numbers 1, 2, 4, 52. Now this range 1 to 452 does not include the median load of 1432. Hence let's move further to the right. The next location closest to the origin is B. Now B has 678 truck loads. So the cumulative between A and B will be 452 plus 678. So let's assume that for B load numbers 453 to 1130. 1130 is the addition of 452 and 678 are being moved between the location B and the new plant. Now again 1432 does not lie in this range so let's move further to the right. So the next location is D. Now D and the new plant are going to have a shipment of 711 truckloads. So let's assume that truckload identification numbers 1131 to 1841 are being moved between D and the new plant. 1841 is 1130 plus 711. Now this range includes the median load of 1432. Therefore, the X coordinate of the new plant should be the same as the X coordinate of D, which is 50. Let us now move to step number 3. Let me note the median load here. So step number three is to find the Y coordinate of the new plant. Now in order to find the Y coordinate, let's move from the origin towards the positive Y axis. So the first location that we come across is both D and E because their Y coordinate is 10. Now D has 711 truckloads whereas E has 539 truckloads. So the total 711 plus 539 is equal to 9 plus 110, 3 plus 14 plus 15, and 7 plus 5 is 12. So let's assume that the truckload identification numbers 1 through 1250 are being moved between DE and the new plant. So this is DE. Now this range does not include the median load of 1432. So let's move further on the Y axis. Now the next location is C which has a truck load of 483. So for C let's assume that load numbers 1251 through 1733 are being moved between C and the new plant. Now 1733 is 1250 plus 483. And the median load 1432 lies between this range. 
Hence, we will consider the y coordinate of the new plant as the same as the y coordinate of C, which is 50. So the new plant will be at the coordinates 50, 50. So let me identify this new plant as NP and the coordinates are 50, 50. Now next we have to proceed and find out the total cost of transportation between all these facilities and the new plant. So first we have to find out the distance between the new plant and each of these facilities. Now as mentioned earlier, the simple median model assumes that the movement is not done diagonally and it is done along the x and y axis. So the distance that we have between A and the new plant has to be along the x and the y axis. So we have to first find out the horizontal distance and then the vertical distance. So for A, the total distance from the new plant will be on the y-axis 80 minus 50 which is 30 plus on the x-axis 50 minus 10 which is 40 so this is 70 now for ease we can also put the coordinates of this point now this point has a x-axis interception at 50 so 50 and the y-axis at 80 so 80 so now the distance between point A and the new plant vertically is 80 minus 50 and the distance between A and the new plant horizontally is 50 minus 10 which is 40 now again we don't consider the negative signs so it is the absolute value of the difference between x-axis and the y-axis. Similarly, for B, the distance is 30, for C, 30, for D, 40, and for E, it is 70. Now let us perform the calculations to find out the total transportation cost. So this is the information that we already have. For each of the locations we have the coordinates, we have the distance between each of these locations and the new plant, we have the cost of transporting one load per unit distance between each of these facilities and the new plant. We also have the annual load to be transported and we have to find out the transportation cost. So, for A, for one unit load, the cost is 10 rupees. So for 452 units of truck load, the cost will be 10 multiplied by 452. And this is equal to 4520. But this cost is to move per unit distance. So for one unit of distance, so the cost of moving 452 truck loads per unit distance is 4520. So 4520 is for one unit distance. So how much is for 70 unit distance? So cross multiplication x multiplied by 1 is 4520 multiplied by 70. And this is equal to 316400 rupees. So this is 316400 rupees. So in short, we have to multiply these three numbers, 30 multiplied by 10 multiplied by the total truck load to obtain the total cost. So the total cost for the remaining 
locations will be 203400 rupees 144900 rupees 284400 rupees and 377300 rupees and the total transportation cost is the addition of all of these which comes out to 1326400 rupees so this is the total cost of transportation between the new plant and the other existing facilities using the simple median model